Toilet test number two. Definitely a first time thing here to go jump in the lake with a toilet. But you get a sense of how this thing handles the water. All right, so imagine we're wakeboarding, we have a crash, the toilet goes down. It's not like a rock. There's a little bit of resistance there. Now about lifting it back out, so. Oh God. Oh God. Ugh. Oh, luckily it flushed, so. Oh, it's better. Okay, so, just it again. Right. Straight down. Yeah. So, it's problematic. You have to sit down and think about it for a minute. I think the thing to do is add foam. We can fill it up with, uh, I'll get another flush, overflowing a little bit. Um, if we fill it up with the great stuff, kind of foam, the expandable foam, maybe that'll give us some more buoyancy. We'll fill up all these spaces because once it's full of water, it's really hard to manage. So don't fill up all the voids with uh, something buoyant. Maybe it would work out. So I've gotten more foam and it's expanded a lot. So it's filling up the void, but we're gonna go ahead and fill it the rest of the way up. We let that cure. We hit one last time. I think we're about there. We're down here at Lake Austin again today. And as you can see, I put foam inside the toilet. See inside the lip, tank, everywhere, everywhere I can fit foam. We weren't very happy with how it sank so quickly. So we're gonna see how much buoyance this adds. We're gonna do a quick lake test here. I also brought a life jacket. I uh, also brought a life jacket and we're, uh, we're gonna see if that adds some buoyance too, if we mount a life jacket to it. So we're gonna see what we can do with this thing. So, let's see. Uh. All right, toilet test number two. Oh my God. Whoa, okay, so. <laughs> I am so surprised. I honestly didn't think this would work. But the darn thing floats. We got. I think six cans, six and a half cans of foam, and it floats. This is gonna make life a whole lot easier. Oh my gosh, I have to really push down. Okay, man, I'm gonna call this a, uh, a win. Uh, the toilet floats. And it actually comes up to a position that's pretty handy for what we're trying to do. So this is really great news. I am stunned. All right. We're exactly one week away. We're gonna test wakeboarding this toilet. Pretty stoked to see how this all ends. I don't even need the life jacket. This, this bad boy floats well enough on his own. So tune in next week and we'll see how the wakeboarding the toilet project works out. See you then. It's not a good idea.